Addiction studies is an evolving area. Our understanding of drug tans, the biology of addiction and the best treatments to manage addiction are constantly changing. These changes are the result of new information, new research techniques or research trials of effectiveness. In this section, we will review recent developments in the addiction field and look to the future. Since I started in the field almost 20 years ago, I've noticed large changes in our attitude and knowledge. To name a few. My perception of the risk of cannabis use has changed, but also my understanding of the ways to manage these risks. And the role of the endogenous cannabinoid system in susceptibility to addiction is a real novel item. The prevalence of prescription drug use has increased dramatically, providing us with a new group of users who need treatment. Our understanding of the biology of addiction is much more sophisticated. The immune system, for example, is now strongly implicated in the biological basis of addiction and relapse, opening new avenues for treatment. Innovative new treatments are constantly being developed, such as vaccines to prevent drug effects on use, or maintenance treatment for amphetamine and cannabis users. Trials with new methods to administer drugs, such as depot injections, are being trialed to work around issues with compliance and side effects. There is a much stronger focus on similarities of drug and behavioural addictions, for example in the Diagnostic Manual DSM. And the list continues. To provide an overview of the state of play and future development to watch, I've asked my colleagues to comment on this topic. You can now look at several short videos from colleagues who comment on a range of developments, such as I changed understanding of the role of the dopamine system in addiction, the role of the immune system in addiction and drug effects, the role of early life and neuropeptides in individual differences in addiction susceptibility, genetics and personalized medicine, better matching medication to individuals, and translation of evidence to practice. So let's hear from the people at the University of Adelaide on their future perspectives.